Hello everyone and welcome to EPC Land, your go-to platform for in-depth knowledge on piping engineering. I'm Sonia and with over 20 years of experience in the field, I'm thrilled to share my insights with you today. A big thank you to EPC Land for giving me this opportunity to spread knowledge. Today, we'll be discussing floating roof tanks, a key component in the storage of liquids. These tanks are designed to minimize evaporation losses and prevent vapor release, which is essential in various industries. So, what exactly is a floating roof tank? Imagine a tank where the roof is designed to float on the surface of the liquid inside. This roof is not stationary, it moves up and down with the liquid level. This design helps in reducing the vapor space above the liquid, thus minimizing the chance of vapor escaping into the atmosphere. The floating roof is attached to the sides of the tank with rollers, allowing it to move freely as the liquid level changes. There's a seal between the roof and the tank wall that plays a crucial role. This seal ensures that the process vapors do not leak into the space above the roof, maintaining a tight barrier. There are two main types of floating roof tanks, internal floating roof tanks, IFRT, and external floating roof tanks, EFERT. Internal floating roof tanks, IFRT these tanks have a floating roof that is positioned inside a fixed roof structure. The fixed roof provides additional protection from environmental factors. As the liquid level rises, the internal roof rises with it. This type is often used for storing volatile liquids that require additional vapor control. External floating roof tanks, EFRT these tanks are designed with the floating roof exposed to the elements. The roof floats on the liquid surface, and there is no additional fixed roof above it. This design is generally used for storing less volatile liquids and is often seen in larger storage facilities. The key advantage of floating roof tanks is their ability to reduce vapor loss, making them a cost-effective solution for storing large quantities of liquid products. By keeping the vapor space to a minimum, they help in conserving resources and protecting the environment. At EPC Land, we offer extensive learning resources, including more than 150 hours of recorded lectures on piping engineering, to help you depend your understanding of topics like these. If you found this information useful, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational content. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to EPC Land for this platform. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into floating roof tanks. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.